Hey, what's up, people? And welcome to another exciting edition of the t-shirt helpdesk.com. Thank you so much. Uh, all the new subscribers. Thank you. Everyone's going to the website and picking up products. Thank you so much. Um, I want to help you guys out. All right. I'm going to show you a, a video, um, clip right here. And I'm going to put this video in the description box. Um, this is a video by the good, good, good people over at advanced t-shirts and they sh are showing you, if you look at this right here, um, how to do this graphic and then using Photoshop and it's really great. But if you go to the video and look at it and, and I'm not hating, please, by no means, it is, they take a whole, whole, whole lot of steps. I mean, it's really good and it's really thorough. And if you really want to learn a lot, you can go there. But if you just want to get in and get out, if you just want to do your thing, get your T-shirt, you know, do it and keep it moving. I'm going to show you how to do these things very, very quick and easy like okay so if you go back to this page you're going to see my version of this t-shirt and i'm doing this in illustrator okay let me see my version you know cool nice t-shirt so i'm going to show you this is the blank right here and i'm going to show you how we go from that to that and it's very very simple okay guys life is short have fun okay for all the times you're doing making brushes and doing that you could be out you know at a drink meeting a hot chick at a bar i don't know playing with your kids you could be doing something you know get in and get out all right so how we make this okay one of the best tools that we have on the planet man is the good folk at google okay so let me go right here Google, it's Mother's Day, so this looks like this. It usually doesn't look like this. And what you want to do is you want to just, first thing we want to do, we want to find that George Washington. So we just type in George Orhe Washington. All right, one dollar bill one dollar coin oh god dollar bill okay right here all right all right and um you want to go to images now when you're doing this you want as high a quality picture you can this thing is going to be blown up on a t-shirt so you want a larger DPI, DPI meaning dots per inch. You want a high quality, higher DPI image. So what you do is you go to search tools and you're going to see right here it says size and you go to large. All right. And these are higher DPI. Now you're going to go look through these and, you know, find which one you like. I already have the one I like and I believe that it's this one. And you just take this bad boy and you pull it off and you drag it to your desktop. I already did that. So there's no need uh, for that. And the next thing that you're going to need. Now, if I have a video. I'm going to also put that in the description box called how to make a distress pattern with a crumble up piece of paper. And with that, you have to like, you know, crumble up the paper, scan it, bring it into Photoshop, blah, 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 blah. Life is short, guys. Life is short. Let me show you a shortcut. All right. You simply go good old Google Images while you're still here, and you simply put in distress pattern. All right, already there. There's a bunch of it back there. Blah blah blah. I'm just gonna put in your basic distress pattern, right? And voila! I mean, this is here for everybody, man. You know. Uh, and I think that I have the, yeah this one here. Just click on this one. There's tons of them. This one is kind of long, kind of looks like what the guy used. So um, I use this one. So you take it and you grab it just like that. You throw it on your desktop. Boom. You got it. All right. Those two things, the pretty, the t-shirt is damn near done just like that. All right. So what you're going to do right here is 
is I have those right here. So you just take these bad boys and you just drag them. I already have have them on the page, but I'm just, just going to show you something. You take this and you make it bigger. And that's your distress pattern. But if you look, it's not transparent. So if you put it over anything, it's not really going to work. It's going to be right over it. Little trick, I've showed you this thousands of times. It's awesome. You go to Object, Rasterize, and uh, Color Model. You want to go down to Bitmap and Resolution. I like a resolution of 300. You can go higher if you want to. The higher, the better, as long as it doesn't make your file too heavy. All right? And you want to see the background is white. You don't want that. You want it to be transparent, baby. See through. Through. T H U. Through. You want it to be see through. Um, and there you have it. That's your distress pattern. I already have it. Um, so I'm just going to delete that. Here's our little, I'm going to put that back where it belongs. Uh, and they're right over here, the both of them, okay? So the great thing about when you have um, this is that when you make a bitmap, you could change the co colors of this. So no matter what the color of the T-shirt is, your bitmap will match the color of the T-shirt, your distress pattern, all right? Very important, okay? That's very important. But our color of our T-shirt here is white, so... We're just going to make it white like it is. And what you do is this is your distress pattern. And that is your dollar bill. You put that on top so it gives that distressed look. All right. And I'm just going to group this. And group. This is not really a tutorial. Hopefully you guys know Illustrator. You just group it all together. Bring it over here kind of place it kind of like where you want it all right and then I have like this back piece and I'm gonna copy and paste that I'm gonna have these templates everything for sale soon or you know available for you guys uh, I got a lot of great things coming just have to bear with me and we are gonna put that one right there off to the side and you just grab it all. You want to make sure that that piece right there is in front. And you just grab them all. And you make a mask. All right. The easy way is just press, just press Control Shift 7. But I'm going to show you how you do it. You go to Object. Clipping Mask. Make. And that is like right there. And then you just take that and place it on top of what you have there right and then you just lock that down and all that other cool stuff that you had all of your little creases and folds and wrinkles you just grab you hope you you you, you the back you lock that back white part down lock and then you just grab everything else and bring to the front i'm going to show you how bring to the front you go to uh, object arrange bring to front and you have the same thing right here. You have something, you know, this really, really cool, beautiful. I mean, this is a little bit off. This really cool, awesome T-shirt, you know, that you can show. I'm, I, I can show you how to do it in Photoshop, too. It's the same exact thing. You just use a photographic um, template as opposed to this vector-based template. But it's the same exact not exact because his distress pattern is a little bit different, but very, very similar in half the time. And you don't have to make any type of um, uh, brushes and all of this stuff. You don't have to do any of that stuff, which can be time consuming. You just, I mean, just go to Google, Google Images and make it happen, you know, and you got yourself a nice looking T-shirt right here. So anyway, guys, um, uh, uh, in life, right, there are quite a few infinite things. 
but your life is not one of them. Your life is finite. You only have a certain amount of time to live. So do what you got to do. Get the product done. Get in and get out. Do the t-shirt, put it on your website and sell it. Make some money and go have a good gosh darn time. Okay? Do what you got to do and bounce. Okay? Don't take too long doing this stuff. It's not worth it. Now, that's just my opinion, you know. Some people want to sit there and spend hour and hour and hour and hour and hour on a t-shirt graphic and you put it up and people love the one that took you five minutes to do. Trust me, guys, I have been doing this for damn near 20 years. I know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, um, that is all. Um, to your t-shirts, may all your t-shirt dreams come true. And hey, have some fun, all right? Talk to you guys soon. Peace. Right there. And the, great, and the great thing about this is that with the pencil tool, you can shape this however you want it to be shaped. You know what I mean? So that's, you know, just in case, you know, a little FYI, a little something extra for you, okay? So I'm going to go over here.